Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks video. In today's video we're going to be going ahead and building a helicopter here in advanced mode on the creative island in Stormworks. We'll go through all the components used, along with that we're going to build step by step, show you how to get everything connected, watch it, what every component does, how to get it all wired up and hopefully by the end we should have a complete flying helicopter of which then you can go ahead and then use those skills learned in today's episode to go ahead and build your own helicopter and then customize it to how you want. As always, everything we do in the video is the sole purpose of the tutorial. Uh, we will be following this video by a couple more videos where we'll go ahead and actually build a proper helicopter with multiple different seats and different uh, features added to it, uh, which will be followed by a couple more videos, uh, step part two, part three, and part four, and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and get started. So we'll go over to our workbench here in the Creative Island. Now we'll go ahead and start straight off by putting down a base for our helicopter. So this is going to be the fuselage itself. So I've just got a little line going across to how long I want it. We're going to then going to go ahead and enable our X-plane. Once we've done that, we're going to build it out by two blocks on either side. Fill that in. And then we're going to go ahead and actually just build the feet for the helicopter. So we'll go ahead by placing two of the wedge blocks down. We'll then go ahead and just angle it towards us and then down one more time and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and then build the legs for the helicopter itself just going by connecting this all up so now you can see we've got the base of the helicopter all done next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and actually add our pilot seat on something to where we can go ahead and control the helicopter from so go ahead and delete a couple blocks now when you're actually placing down your pilot seat you'll see that if i go ahead and select it and then i place it to next to where i want it and say i rotated it according to where i want it you'll see that it places a one down so to avoid that what we have to do is actually just go ahead and build up one block and then we'll go ahead and place our pilot seat down again And then we'll go ahead and actually just delete those blocks and now you can see it's actually flush with the fuselage or the main body of the helicopter itself so next off what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place our engine down so for the purpose of the tutorial i'm going to go ahead and use the aircraft engine we're going to go ahead and actually put the most the majority of the inputs coming towards the pilot so as you can see there we have our coolant in coolant out our two exhausts and then also our fuel intake and at the rear we have the air intake and then also our propeller shaft or our engine drive or however you want to call it next up what we're going to do is we're going to be building the supports uh, for the main rotor shaft and then also for the tail rotor so we'll go ahead and we'll just start just over here and just build this straight up Now, as I said earlier, this is not going to be pretty at all. Um, however, it's just going to be the basics of what you need to go ahead and actually build your own helicopter. You can then obviously go ahead and design it to however you want. Uh, this is just covering everything that you need uh, in terms of components for the basics and just to give you an idea on how to get everything set up. So now that we've got our two supports done uh, for the main rotor and then also for the tail rotor, we're going to go ahead and place those down. So first off, we're going to go ahead and use the large rotor just over here place it right at the top of the helicopter and then next we're going to go ahead and just place our tail rotor just at the rear of the helicopter and there we go once again we'll just have to disable that quickly so we don't place it on either side and you can see here that the inputs for these is going to be underneath for the tail rotor and then for the main rotor it's going to be just in the front so now that we've got that all place down we've got our engine we've got our pilot seat we've got the rotors itself a couple other things that we need obviously because we're in advanced mode we're going to be using a fuel tank so we'll go ahead and actually just get a large fuel tank here now for the purpose tutorial i'm just going to go ahead and place it wherever uh, wherever i find space so we'll go ahead and just place just smack bang right over there and then next of all we also need a battery so we'll go ahead and just place the battery down, which I'm just going to go place right over there. Uh, nothing special, just keep in mind, because you're a helicopter, you want to keep your center of gravity right in the center of the helicopter. Uh, you don't want to be leaning either to the left or to the right, otherwise you're going to have issues when you're flying. So next off, what we're going to do is we're going to start getting this all piped up and ready. Um, so first off, we'll start with our air box or our intake for the air. As always, I just use a fluid port for it. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Uh, next off, what we'll do is we'll sort out a coolant. Uh, so coolant in, coolant out. We'll go ahead and we'll place just three standard blocks down there, and then we'll put our radiator on top of that. Nothing special, nothing fun. Um, we're just going to simply cool the engine and get that done. Uh, for the purpose tutorial, I will use blue for the coolant. 
So there you go, we've got that connected now. Uh, next up, what we'll go ahead and do is while we're on this side, we'll connect our fuel tank. Fuel tank, I'll go ahead and do it in red. Now we pretty much just want it coming straight down from there into there and then going from there on forth. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just start angling this. So we'll bring it back into the center and then we'll bring it down. Once we've brought it down, we'll just start popping it right towards the engine itself. Fantastic. So that takes care of the fuel. The fuel is now hooked up. And then last things we need to do is just the exhaust. So obviously for the aircraft engine, we have two exhausts. We're simply just going to bring it up across and then straight out the rear of the helicopter itself. So we'll go ahead and just change the dark gray for this tutorial. We'll also enable the X-plane so we build on either side. The aircraft engine has two exhausts. So we'll just go up, back, and then we'll bring it straight back to where it clears the helicopter itself and then we'll just go ahead and put two exhausts on there as i said earlier it doesn't look that pretty at all um but it's, this is not the purpose of the, this exact video is to just to get it all working and show you how it all works uh, and get all the connections done so now we've got all those fluid um, pipes connected and all that all hooked up we're going to go ahead and do our last uh, piping which is going to be the propeller or the shaft um main main shaft for the engine itself to give power so we'll go ahead and we'll first off we'll just do it orange for the purpose of the tutorial now we want to go ahead and split the power between these two shafts uh, so what we'll do is we'll just bring it up to there once we have it here we'll go ahead and split it just using a t-pipe and then we'll go ahead and bring it straight back to here where we'll then go ahead and just angle it directly into there fantastic now for here to get that connected to our main main um, rotor shaft is going to be to delete that we're going to go ahead and just buy, use a enclosed pipe enclosed pipe just over there we're going to go ahead and disable our explain again go ahead and grab our piping again we want orange for this tutorial so we'll go ahead and just start popping this up and we're just going to bring it so it clears all of this. Cross. Straight across to there. Now, obviously, that's not connected. We have to bring it around. So we're just going to go ahead, angle it around. And then connect it to our main rotor blades just over here. Perfect. And you can actually drag these across if you bring it from one point to the other point, so you don't have to constantly be clicking it down. Fantastic. So now we've got that all piped up and ready to go. Uh, we've got our radiator, we've got our fuel, we've got our um, battery, we've got our rotors, all that down. There's a couple more components that we're going to need. Uh, the first component we're going to need is going to be our gyro. Now the gyro will just obviously stabilize the inputs that we feed to it. Uh, so the gyro, if I can find it here, there we go. So we have the gyro. We're just going to go ahead and place it underneath the helicopter for the purpose of this tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and place it down there. Now I'll talk a little bit more about that when we stop wiring everything up. And then the last thing we want to do is we just want to build a simple dashboard just here in the front of the helicopter so we can get all our reporting stats or reporting details for the engine itself. So first off, what we'll need is we're going to need a throttle lever to control the throttle of the engine itself. Once we've got that, we'll also need a simple push button to start the engine itself. So I'll place a plain block underneath that just to make it somewhat pretty. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and we'll just put a couple dials down. Now, as always, because we're in advanced mode, uh, you'll have one dial. If I can figure out which way it goes. One dial for the fuel. One, day for, one dial for the temperature, another one for the battery, another one for the rotations, and that's pretty much about it. Um, I can't think of any other ones we need. We've got fuel, we've got battery, we've got rotations, we've got temperature. Uh, that brings it to four. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, and then lastly, we'll just place a plain block just over there, uh, and then we'll go from there. So now that we've got that all done, we'll go ahead and start doing the wiring for the helicopter itself. Uh, so we'll start with the electricity. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just actually now start connecting everything up, just by holding control down, clicking to each terminal that we want to connect it. 
Fantastic. Now we'll start with our data. So first off, we'll start with our controls. Obviously, you have your four controls that come from the pilot seat itself. Those obviously then need to go ahead and control the helicopter. So to get the engine working, you obviously need the starter. So we'll go ahead and just name this starter. Fantastic. Then off, we're going to control the throttle of the engine itself. So we'll go ahead and take our throttle, bring it across. We'll also name our lever. What's that? That's throttle. Fantastic. So that takes care of the engine. Uh, obviously, the engine itself has two outputs. One is going to be the rotations, and one is going to be the temperature. So we'll get that hooked up while we're there now. So double check. We have the rotations going to that one. So we'll go ahead and just connect and write rotations. And then the other one was the temperature. Fantastic. There we go. So we got the engine actually now all wired up. Next thing we need to go ahead and do is we're going to connect our fuel tank sensor. So that's going to go to another dial. And we're just going to rename that dial to fuel. So we know how much fuel is in the helicopter. Next, we're going to do the battery. Connect that up to another dial to so know how much battery we have. So we'll go ahead and name that to battery. Now that we have all our components hooked up, we're actually going to go ahead and just do our gyro. Now the gyro itself, um, We'll start with the propellers. So on the propellers, you can see the tail rotor has yaw, and then you go to the main rotor and it has pitch, collective, and roll. Roll is obviously left to right, usually controlled by A and D. It rolls the helicopter to the left, rolls it to the right. Collective is bringing the helicopter up and down. You have the pitch, which is either going to be lean forward, lean back, and then lastly, you have yaw, which is going to be to literally rotate the helicopter by use of that rear propeller. So next off, uh, we're going to go ahead and actually get that all connected up. We're going to go ahead and take the roll, and we're going to connect that to our gyro, and you can see the gyro has stabilized yaw, stabilized roll, stabilized pitch, and stabilized up-down. So we're going to connect the roll to the other roll on the gyro. We're going to take the collective connect the connective up to the up and down. We're going to then go take the pitch, connect that to the pitch on the gyro. And then lastly, you'll see the last one means connect is yaw, which is going to connect to the rear tail rotor yaw. Fantastic. So that means that our gyro now is controlling the propellers or the rotors themselves. We now need to send inputs to the gyro so it knows what to do. So we'll go ahead and we connect AD, which is going to be our roll, to obviously we connect that to the roll part. WS, which is going to be our pitch. We then connect that to the pitch part of the gyro. Then go ahead and select our up-down, which is going to be our collective. So up-down then goes up to our collective, our rotor. And then lastly is our left and right, which is going to control our yaw of the helicopter. Great, so now that we've got that all connected and done, uh, you can see here there's one more button that hasn't been connected, and that's going to be the auto hover. This enables the auto hover of the gyro, which then stabilizes the whole helicopter and makes sure that it's always in a nice level position uh, when you're flying. We use for simple this tutorial, we're just going to go ahead and connect uh, hotkey one. We'll press one, it's going to go ahead and just enable the, um, the auto hover for us, which is going to be a standard. So now that we've got that all connected up, a couple of other things that we need to go ahead and make sure we've got done is we're going to collect our select tool. We're just going to go through all our different things that we need to make sure it's done. We're going to collect on our tail rotor. As you can see here, you can change the number of blades that you want. We're just going to leave it as stock four. And you'll see that all the rotors have a neutral and positive. This means that when you give it, a if you leave it on positive and you give it a throttle value, it's physically going to move that rotor in, in either an up and down or left and right fashion, depending, depending on what type of rotor it is and what input you're giving it, but it's always going to have a positive value. It's never going to be a neutral. As if we switch it to neutral, the only time it's actually going to move forward is if we give it a signal. If we don't give it a signal, it's not going to give any power to that rotor. So in theory, think of it as this is a built-in clutch in the rotor itself, um, whereas if you're not giving it any number, it's not going to move at all until you go ahead and actually give it a number input. So we want to go ahead and select that to neutral. Same goes with the engine, uh, sorry, for the main rotor itself. Move that to neutral because we're actually controlling that by a gyro. We aren't controlling it by a throttle. The throttle is only controlling the power of the engine. We're not controlling that with our throttle. We're controlling that by using our gyroscope and then our, obviously our collective up and down. So now that we've got that all done, just make sure we have diesel. Yep, that's all good and working. So we're going to go ahead and spawn this in and see if it works. You can see here we actually gone and spawned that in now. And we'll just go ahead and jump into our seat. Now, first things first is we'll go ahead and just check our dials. Temperature is fine. Rotation is nothing because the engine's off. 
fuel's good, and then we have battery, of course. Now, obviously, in advanced mode, to start any engine, you need to give a little bit of throttle. So we'll go ahead and just give this engine a little bit of throttle, hold down the starter motor, and then you can see here we now have everything running. The engine seems fine. If you wanted to go and check to see if the engine's working, you can go and actually just check, see fuel, air exhaust, electric and coolant, all good working, everything's doing. And because we have it in neutral, you can see now, because we haven't given it any number inputs for these yet, nothing is moving and lifting off and taking off. Now what we'll go ahead and do is now that we've got everything on and running, we can actually now go ahead and control the helicopter by use of our up, down, left, right, W, S, and A, and D. So if I go ahead and give it an up value, you can see the helicopter is now going to start going up. And then if I give it a pitch value forward, it's going to start flying forward. Now you can see this is moving around a little bit because we haven't got our auto hover enabled. Now you'll see if I go ahead and just rotate that a bit and I'll enable my auto hover, you can see it straight away stabilizes the whole helicopter and makes it much easier to fly. And then you go, and you can see. So everything seems to be working all nice. Um, we can go ahead and fly this around. As I said earlier, it's not the most pretty helicopter or the fastest or anything like that, but it's a full, fully working helicopter, um, only using a few components that you need, and it gives you all the information and gives you the tools necessary to go ahead and actually go and build your own helicopter uh, in the game in advanced mode. So with that said and done, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it as always and found it somewhat informative. Uh, as I said earlier, we are going to be doing a couple more videos um, regarding the helicopter itself in advanced mode. And we're going to go ahead and actually build a full helicopter, um, something a little bit more prettier than this, with using a little bit more time and skills. And that will be spread over a couple more videos. Uh, anyway. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button and follow me on Twitter for any updates and we'll see you in the next one.